As of right now, we are sitting a little over a week for our first preseason game, and there's one player that's turning a lot of heads during training camp. What's going on Arizona sports fan family appreciate you guys for stopping by let's talk about something positive for our Arizona Cardinals for this video today what I want to talk about is going to be our stacked wide receiving core right I think that's one thing as far as fans go saying like hey we actually have a very good you know wide receiving core if everybody is not in suspension um, if everybody is not trying to play speed racer on the 101 like we actually have a very good stacked wide receiving core but there's one specific player during training camp that's really coming out and showing out and turning a lot of heads now specifically when I went to training camp on Monday there was one specific player number 83 that kept making plays but at that very moment I wasn't really kind of correlating what was going on. I was like, man, this guy's really showing out. He's really looking good. In my mind, I was like, did somebody change numbers? But when I did a little bit of digging and really took a look into it, this player was none other than Greg Dorch. This guy had had already two touchdowns and it was still making plays during, you know, when they were doing their scrimmages. This guy had some very, very good, you know, feet work this guy was just kind of doing everything he possibly can to trying to secure a spot in the 53 man roster now not only on monday was he showing out but throughout the entirety of the week this guy had highlights to go out and kind of prove himself out there now when you take a look at our wide receiving core right now now this is no specific order and i get some people are suspended but we're gonna take a look at it so we got deandre hopkins aj green hollywood brown rondell moore antoine wesley Andy Isabella and then Greg Dorch. Now we also did sign somebody as well, Marcel Aitman. Now I'm not quite 100% sure if he's going to make the 53 men roster or if he's just going to be a camp body, but our wide receiving core is pretty pretty stacked. Um so if there's one specific player that I don't believe is going to make the 53 man roster this year is going to be Andy Isabella. Like I I I feel bad for him, I really do, but if what we're seeing from Greg Dorch is something that we're going to be seeing for a wide receiver for depth, man, I would rather take Greg Dorch over and Isabella in a heartbeat. Now, when you take a look at Andy Isabella, he's listed as 5'9", and Greg Dorch is listed as 5'7". But if you take a look at his workout, his work ethic, his his just ability to try to make plays is absolutely unbelievable. And I really would love Greg Dorch to make the 53-man roster. I don't want to have another situation like Russell Douglas, um, you know, ended up having a breakout season that was sitting in our practice squad and ended up, you know, kind of making a name for himself. I do not want that to happen with Greg Dorch. Now, he did have some opportunities with other teams as well. It didn't seem like he not so much did well, but he didn't have very much of an opportunity. But I do feel like in this system, he would be able to flourish. Now, what happens if Rondo Moore does end up getting hurt again, right? He's a small stature wide receiver as well. I have all the confidence in the world that Greg Dorch can come in and make plays for the Arizona Cardinals. Now, if you take a look at some of these highlights during training camp, this guy is getting covered by people you know, that are obviously taller than him, but he still has the uh, the footwork. He still has the ability to try to get open. He gets separation. He's able to go ahead and jump up in the air with his 5'7 frame and still make plays. This guy right here is an absolute rising star in the making. The only problem I see with him is the fact that there's just so much people in our wide receiving core right now. He might not get the playing time here at the Arizona Cardinals that he would love. And I think a lot of fans would love to see him as well. Now, obviously, I think when you're looking at our, our, our top wide receivers, you got DeAndre Hopkins, you got um, Rondo Moore in the slot, and then you got Hollywood Brown um, on the opposite side of DeAndre Hopkins when everybody's here and, and ready to go in week seven. Now, AJ Green, right? Uh, uh, definitely a notable player that's done a lot within this um, uh, in the NFL. Anton Wesley has shown some flashes. Now he did recently get hurt in training camp. Um, that might maybe you know get an opportunity for somebody else out there. But this right here really kind of gets me excited to really see what somebody can do different, right? Now I know Andy Isabella gets a lot of flack, but this might be the year that he does not make the 53 man roster um let's take like i said the wide receiving cores that we have so we have one two three four five five people not including andy isabella or greg dorge i don't see a world that we're carrying in seven wide receivers but if we do and isabella could sneak his way in if we get six of them coming through then 
you know, obviously I would, I would rather have Greg Dortch over Andy Isabella at that very moment. So let me know what you guys think about, you know, Greg Dortch or, or his highlights or anything training camp related to him. Put everything in the comments below. As always, like, comment, and subscribe. Appreciate you guys for watching and I'm out.